Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Thanksgiving is almost upon us, and I just got the Christmas lights up on the roof. The problem is, two of my strands fell two and five lights short. So the question is, what am I going to do? This year we upgraded to LED lights. You can string 90 of these LED C9 strands together, where you used to be only able to string four uh, C9 incandescents together. These draw such little power that you can just string them all together before you'll ever pop a breaker. But the problem with LED lights is they're wired a little bit differently. So if you're going to go and change things, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. Incandescent lights are simply wired in parallel. There's two wires that run all the way from the prongs all the way down the cord to the other end, and each light taps into each, uh, each side of the wire. These LEDs are a little bit different. A typical LED will use about 2 volts, give or take. Well, a white LED takes a lot more power, so they're in the 3 to 4 volt range. The one thing that you'll notice also with LED lights is this funny little cylinder here between the last two lights on the strand and 1.5 kilo ohms. This thing is a resistor. And the voltage across this resistor is 27. So, since these are wired in series and the voltage drop across each of those is the same, we need to take our 115 volts or 120 minus the 27. That takes us back down into the 90 volt range. So we take our 90 volts, divide it by the 25 lights on our strand, and we're a little bit less than 4 volts per light, which is in oh, 3.5, 3.6 or so. I'm just doing it in my head, uh, which is typical for a wide LED. Now here's the thing. Adding two additional lights to a strand somewhere in between here shouldn't be a problem. I certainly don't recommend you do this. So that's my disclaimer. But I'm going to add an additional two lights to this because the percentage voltage drop when I only add two lights to 25 uh, is going to be very minimal. The lights are going to dim a little bit. However, I think in the scheme of things, uh, it's really not going to be that noticeable. Unfortunately, the lights that I need to splice are up on the roof. I'm not going to bring them back down, so I'm going to do it up there. Okay, here you can see the problem. My last light is two shingles short from this corner. There's the plug, and there's the resistor I was talking about. So I'm going to splice my section right here into these two and scoot those down. I'm going to cut them here. All right, now the one thing to note here, though, is where you cut these. You'll notice that I cut my filler strand much, much longer, almost to the next light, so that when I splice this new section in, I won't lose any length between these, because they, they barely reach between the shingles as it is. If I were to just use this piece that I cut right in half, uh, it could end up short, and then my job would have to be redone. So I went ahead and make sure to cut more than I need, I've got an extra inch and a half on each end. So I'm going to connect it to the light just upstream. Now I'm connecting my two that run straight through. I'll use my tape and tape them up. And now I can just move these all down. I'd say that's a job done. This strand over here has 17 lights. You can see I moved the resistor accordingly. It's a 1.5 kilo ohm resistor, and it's running 20 milliamps through it, so it's dropping 30 volts. Now, I'm not ever going to use fewer than 17 lights on a strand without changing this resistor, because now each light's having to drop 5 volts instead of its 4.4 that it was, and I'm getting close to the upper limit of what an LED can take. And you can see all the lights on, and there's no noticeable dimming whatsoever. I'm Mike Thompson. Happy Thanksgiving, and Merry Christmas.